Uh, one, one of the things, and uh, you know, and as an organization that does what you do, I kind of felt like data was probably one of the heroes of of the pandemic uh, on a lot of levels. You know, we saw a lot of data on our TV screens every night um, that's looking like you were saying, like, as we're learning more about the virus and its patterns. But from a workplace point of view, particularly, I guess, as as, as people started creeping back into the office and that, you know, we had to be careful about capacities and stuff like that, then, then people would have a, a sharper focus on data, which, you know, from my own personal experience, I kind of feel like workplace data was very fashionable, but per perhaps organizations weren't using it as well as they could and 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 perhaps that was one of the up uh, upsides of of the what we've just been through is that actually there has been this sort of laser guided focus on the role of data good quality data moving forward which is something we want to talk about in episode three but i just wondered whether you know you could touch on a little bit about whether you did see that kind of thirst for data suddenly kick in as people started trying to navigate quite a confusing picture yes and it's not just kind of one type of data, it's multi-dimensional, which is, which is quite interesting. Um, I think <laughs> everything brings complexity, like hybrid working brings a lot of complexity and, and being a lot more data focused helps. And, and I'll explain one at a time, but, um, and then COVID in itself has, the kind of the virus transmittability and, and so forth. COVID safety um, is, is affected a lot by environmental and invisible. Uh, yeah. So that becomes really crucial. So environmental data previously was kind of quite low down people's priorities, frankly, it was, it was a nice to have from a wellness standpoint. But now for anybody that is, um, that is operating an indoor environment, indoor air quality is, is quite critical, um, whether that's yeah. whether schools or, or um, you know, kind of office buildings. Um, so multi-dimensional data, and then, and then the subjective data around asking people what they want. You know, now that, you know, you're working from home, you know, most employers had to really focus on how does this change and how do we engage with employees and get the feedback. So there's the subjective data, the objective data around the environment and, and then utilization, obviously, with in terms of managing capacity. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the environment went from simpler to just the complexity ratcheted it up. I think that's a fair, a fair summary of the of the pandemic, wasn't it? <laughs> Derek, yeah. you you wanted to come in there. Yeah, I just wanted to come in. Um, just to kind of add, uh, you know, to 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 your this uh, point around data. So one of the th interesting things I've observed is that you know previously, uh, the only people interested in like data utilization and you know air quality testing, that kind of data was people like myself. You know, like you know uh, workplace professionals. However, now you know the proverbial you know, John Doe who sits, you know, <laughs> in an office, you know, is also interested, you know. So people, so our, our staff, our colleagues are now asking, okay, guys, uh, I, want, I want the reassurance that the office is safe and you can't just tell me it's safe, show me the data. You know, so those kind of things are, are, are those kind of conversations are actually starting to happen, you know, within like people who traditionally wouldn't even care about, you know, no, you know, air quality data, or they would just turn up for work, you know, have a coffee, you know, the, most of the things I would worry about was the quality of the coffee. Now it's about the air quality. Now they want to know, <laughs> okay, Derek, yeah. you know, how does our air quality compare, you know, uh, pre-COVID to, you know, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll feel safe coming to the office if you can show me that, you know, the office is, uh, is safe rather than just telling me that it's safe. So it's quite, I just wanted to add that, um, that uh, perspective as well.